Hey, it's Rabbi Alex, and these are my Torah thoughts. I just wanted to bring you outside on this really cold day to show you all the white snow. Look how beautiful it is. I don't know if you can see. You know, it's really freezing cold. All the kids are off school. Uh, but there's a sense, really, of purity uh, and whiteness. Uh, and, uh, and actually, um, in this week's Torah portion, there's this line that just really stands out. And it has to do with how the people back then, when they wanted to approach God, they wanted to do it on a sapphire brick road. What is a sapphire brick road? What on earth could that be? The rabbis actually really, really struggled with this notion of what sapphire is and what could that be. Uh, There is a rabbi, a French rabbi, uh, whose name is Chizkuni, uh, who uh, talked about how sapphire really was kind of, must have been kind of gray, not the blue sapphire we talk about. And the, the guide made it sapphire so that it would be like the gray clouds that they would see in Egypt, something that would be familiar, if a little bit depressing. But I really like what Sforno, an Italian rabbi, said. Uh, he said that the sapphire was actually something that was transparent, so that when you walked on it, it would feel like uh, you could see yourself in it, and it could be whatever you want. Uh, it would be like walking uh, on a mirror. And uh, I love that sense for them, that it's not a yellow book road that's pointing you towards something. It's really open and free. Uh, what a beautiful image. So anyways, stay warm, and see you next week with Torah Thoughts.